know what, let's just ignore that. We'll pretend it doesn't exist. Oh, you can't see it in world view, that sucks. Um, I should probably get off my phone. He says as he continues being on his phone. Flat on there. Looks like he's bloodied his hands. <laughs> That's cute. Oop. Right there. Let's go make a moderately sized boat. So 7.75 meters long. Um, I should do a boat with it that's made for trailers. That's actually a really good idea. I'm not going to follow it though. I want a space of three, then some seat. Like that. And then another space. So, so this boat is going to be so wide. How wide? 3.25 meters wide. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna at least want this, this, and then four. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. No, I kinda want it to go further on. I could do some XML editing, but I fucking hate that. No, I don't want that. Um, do I actually want the boat to be so wide? I don't think so. So far to the back? No. No, I don't. 
Uh, no, I don't have warnings. Let's bring this down towards the water. Somewhere like there. Yep. So that means I can now place inside the water. I'm thinking we go down quite a distance. And then we cut off so much so that we can have some propellers in there. Great. So I'm thinking I want propellers. Whoops. Oh, I am so far out. That and then something like that. Yeah. That's as far as I will go down. Thinking, do I want this boat to be really far forward like this? Actually, you know what? Yeah, I do. Don't know why I do, but I do. Like I said, I'm making a weird boat today. I'm not giving myself any rules. I'm not trying to make it a realistic design. I'm, yeah, to have fun. And have fun, I will. There we go, that's the one I wanted. Oh um, uh, do I need to go one lower? It looks like I do. Now that means I'm gonna have to go one lower then. I always struggle with this sometimes, it's weird. Like, I should... <sighs> Whenever this happens, it's just easier to do it like this instead. Whoops. And so, just again and again and again. And bam. And then bam. <laughs> it's weird how it's difficult sometimes. Just 
to be honest, I like it, but I don't like it, but I do like it. I'm quite conflicted on, on what I like here, to be honest. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it for now. I've left myself lots of space here. I plan to put the engines down below there, so that's fine. If if I'm really going to leave myself that much space, I might as well make the most of it. Yeah, that's a really flat bottom. I'd actually prefer to go in a bit, a bit higher. So, let's go from up here, two, and down here, two. And let's remove these. Yeah, I want a straight edge, say straight wedge. Okay, do I do I want straight wedge or do I want to go from up here? Hmm. No, I think I'm going to go for the 2 by one wedge. Although I feel like it would have been nice to use the other one. I don't think it would have been appropriate. Well, that helps. That's nice. Okay. This back is going to stay flat for quite some time. So that's that. And I have all of this, which is fine. I like using these engines, and not for reasons most people would think. It's not because I can get loads of power out of them. That's nowhere near the case. Mm, can, however, for low fuel usage, get a lot of power out of these. With the proper gearing, I can get quite a bit of power out of them. So I'm thinking. So I have air, fuel at the bottom, exhaust at the top. Um, except for the things I just said around, because it's exhaust on the bottom, fuel on the top. Yes, and in coolant, out coolant. Hmm. I can't use an art cooler as on the fluid chip, can I? Or can I? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. No, delete. I don't want it. It would be quite interesting. <laughs> it actually would be quite interesting. I'm not going to lie. I kind of tempted to do it now. Uh, hard to build window. I got it eventually. Eventually. Two by two window. No, I know, two by three.
They should let you be able to merge windows like this, merge like the edges in. Maybe not edges on corners, but edges like that, merge that all that in. Merge this whole thing into one big window. Instead of having all these friggin' lines in there. Like, yeah, just let me remove this big ass chunk. Let me make this whole one big ass piece of glass right there. You wanna know why? Because it'd make my view a lot easier, a lot cleaner. Uh, but, no, they won't give you that. There's also like paintable blocks. You know what would be really nice? Instead of having paintable blocks, uh, we have a paintable layer. Like you can put a layer on anything and paint over it. Maybe not anything, maybe only flat blocks. But let's say I could say I want to paint all of these triangles here. Yeah. I could say, hey, this square here, yeah, this square here, yeah, this square yeah, and this triangle here. Yeah. Let me paint all of them however I want and just scale it. But I don't think they'll, I don't think they'll be easier to implement depending on however they put the engine together. Now I'm in ya, it's just she. It's growing on me, the shape. I have no idea why, normally on a boat like this, you gotta have, well I don't know, actually there's many, many, many styles of boats, so, I can't really say that, can I? of I'm not done but I kind of have the body how I want it <sighs> that's one massive ass front I can make such compact boats maybe not the most compact boats because you know but I can make a lot smaller of a boat using this engine and just some gearboxes and fuel efficiency and I don't know why I just like fuel efficiency. Um, uh, yes, that's it. <laughs> do I, do I, I do get the word eventually. Uh, I need to remember that it was propeller eventually. I swear. Now this that's what a lot of people do, is just go straight into the engine. But I would never want to do that. This just made me realize that I put these engines in the wrong place. <laughs> so you know what, I actually want a bit more space. So I'm going to go two spaces to the front. Yeah, cut. One, two, paste there. Now put a block on it there, and now you can merge it to the ground. Now you can remove the set block, and there you go. doing it like this. I use these big fluid ports because they look cool. No, no, I'll leave my remote on.
I hate how sometimes you click the button, but it doesn't do anything because the game freaks the fuck out. It's a bit annoying when that happens, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Help air. I need fuel and exhaust. Exhaust is pretty easy. Normally, I don't do the. I normally have the exhaust come up towards the back, yeah. Maybe like low down like there, but I, I prefer having the exhaust way down there. So that doesn't affect me whenever I try to do something later on. Here comes the pump. Now, I do something like this. Then I turn it off. And then I, I do something like that. And then I do that. So I flow it out and flow it in, and then you just do this and this. Now there's no reason for using such large fluid ports, I'm only doing it because I like the aesthetics. That's temporary, which is why I'm not putting large ones there. The reason why I'm putting large ones here is because they're not temporary and more permanent. And I made a mistake. Um, cut and I. No, I. There we go. Let's flow it in. So, bum bum bum. There we go. Now I know which one's in and which one's out. So that's in. So let's go pipe. That's fuel, fuel is going to be towards the back, and yes, out. Okay. Difficult working in such a tight space. Ah, <laughs> uh, if my uncle was here. If only he was here. All I would hear is, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, uh. Funny. Well, funny, funny, funny. So funny. No, that's not what I wanted, but it's fine, I'll fix that later. Okay, so I took that is air, that's exhaust, I might as well make that look grey. There we go, so that's that. A, a battery, I know what you might be thinking, one small battery, I'll have you know that batteries are friggin heavy and that's all I need is one small one. Fun rod up. Alright, I did, yes, 
Oh, well, so I did make this equal, right? Um, and I didn't make that one equal as well, right? I'm not sure I did. So that's A and D. Um, you know what? No. So I need a driver's seat. Thank you. And a passenger seat. Thank you. Oh, now I, I don't. I forgot I had that off. So A and D is there. I said A and D there. Double UNS on clutch. My automatic engine. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know which ones this one is. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones I made a long time ago. So I need a throttle. Pump, engine, engine, what key you want, show gearboxes, and that should be it, I need a one to go up there, to there, yeah. I need a linear speed sensor, that places one right there. I want that right in the middle, I want that to be speed meters per second, zero to nanometer 30. Seems like a good idea. Now I want that to be battery. Zero to one. I also want a fuel tank. I should put like a nice big large tank here. I did put a custom tank, but I'm not interested in one right now. And fuel should be on the left. Fuel zero to I think eight hundred. Was it six hundred? Oh, I'm not so sure. How much fuel is in here? Let me just disconnect it quickly. So fuel seven hundred, seven hundred. Okay. 700. It's a little bit more than that, but 700 is good enough because you have to fill up the pipes as well. So now it's, yeah, see, it takes a bit of fuel to fill up the pipes. <coughs>
need a... Yeah, these gearboxes... I normally have one for reverse. This one I'm just testing... Speed. <coughs> Alright! get up the full speed of that. I think I'm gonna be done for the night though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Okay. Probably. Oh. Let's get ready to go. Oh, my arms are small. Okay.